got the heater on, so if you can't hear me, uh, just bear with me. I'll try to speak a little louder. So basically what's going on, we got this H2B car, we got a tune on it, it fires up, it runs all right, but the belt is starting to walk. So because we have the KS tune balance and shaft elite, you can see down there we got the spacer, that's where the spacer needs to be. The frame has been tended to, you can tell we got it massaged in, we got a good gap in between. So you can see through, you can see the light, you can see the gap, all the way to the back. So what goes on is the belt starts to walk because normally you would have your balancing shaft uh, belt in the way of that spacer. Well, you, there's usually a big uh, pulley that a, the belt rides on. Well, that kind of keeps the belt straight. Also, it's it's because we're the way that we have the tensioner now. So you can see down there, you got the KS2 and tensioner. So it's literally it pushes sideways on it. So what they do, they sell a little piece that you can. Uh, JB weld on, onto the pulley, onto the idler pulley basically, and uh, it's supposed to hold the belt from walking off. Well, the proper way to do this for all the H guys, H to B, I got the same setup on the all wheel drive car, is uh, H23A1 non VTEC uh, manual tensioner. So, basically, what it is, it's a B series manual tensioner. So, if you don't know, uh, for if you're not an H series guy, these come with an automatic tensioner so what it is it's hydraulic fluid in it and you have basically have to hold it down put the belt on when you let it go you have to do two rotations check the belt tightness it's supposed to tighten itself the problem with that is, is yes it works it tightens itself but if it fails it's the, you're gonna jump teeth you're gonna jump quite a few teeth actually if it fails so the proper thing to do is get the KS2 thing the, the tensioner so that comes with the spacer with the QSD kit and then this is the H23 non VTEC uh, basically uh, manual tensioner so that's the part number here for the tensioner and then this is the spring here a lot of guys don't run the spring but I like to just keep the spring there you still gotta pull up and tighten and whatnot so this belt here is, uh, is for an H22 this is H23 VTEC, but we're, it's going to have the same tooth count. It still runs the same water pump teeth, and that's the main, the main setup. The bottom cog is the same, the cam gears are the same. So basically, it's, it's all in the tensioner. So what we're going to do, guys, you can, you can see how much the belt was trying to walk off. And I cut the, cut the top open, just like my hatch. I can show you guys. We'll walk over there. Uh, this is the J35 that blew up. You can see the piston sideways in there. Through, through, uh, through a rod. So I got I got a video of this. Chad and I uh, started taking it apart just to see what was what was hurt. And you can actually tell there was uh, some piston to valve contact. Top right, top left. So anyways, we're going to, uh, the heads are there. So basically we got definitely bent valves, boom, boom. Tell it was leaned out too, but anyways, we're gonna show you this. So I have the same setup on my hat, so we're gonna pull the ball. And hold on. All right, what's up, boys? So um, I'm still getting parts for this right now. If, if you guys are following the build, so I, I gotta sell this sheepy header. Badass sheepy build header eight for H to B. It does have the collector down there though, so I mean it'd be easy to run it straight H. But uh, so basically, I'm getting the header. I got the turbo, the intercooler. We're trying to work out a package deal there with KLM. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. But yeah, so if you look down here, you can see. Get it focus. Yeah, I got the catch can in the way. So you can see down there. We got the spacer, you can see in the center. It's kind of hard to see because I got the cover on mine. We're going to put a cover on his, but it's got to be cut. You can also see that. So, yeah, so I run, uh, you can see I got the manual tensioner down there. Right? With the spring. Right? So my belt never walks, never ever had that problem. So I do run the QSD kit, and you can see.
It's a, actually, it's a PLM kit. It's a QSD knockoff, but it's, it's supposed to be the same kit. I can tell some differences, but uh, it, it does the same job. It's sitting on the car, so um, axle alignments still look good and whatnot. So we're going to put this top dead center, pull the alternator belt off, then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll start pulling the valve cover off. I'll show you guys inside the head and then uh, how I do it. I usually lock the cams. If you got the Pro 2s, you can't lock them. You literally got to do it by eye, but um, I'll show you there on these Type S cams or basic H22 cams that you can put two dowels to lock the cam. Put a t Make sure your top dead center 100% on, which I have it marked. And then, uh, yeah, it, it's pretty much uh, stupid proof. So I'll, uh, I'll pick right back up, boys. All right, guys, we're back. So I'll show you. I got this top dead center. You got it straight across. You got your lines and then your arrows up. Straight across. It goes literally with the valve cover. Straight across. So then if you look straight down, see that underneath the KS is a little dot? Well, that lines up with that line. That's your top dead center line. So uh, once we pull out the bolts here, you'll see the your cotter, your cotter key straight up and down. So, um, I'll pull this apart. I just wanted to show you that's how you set it top dead center first. You want to make sure it's top dead center before you pull the belt off because it's a pain in the ass after to make sure you're 100% bang on. So there's no point screwing around with that, boys. So, Don't mind the harness, he's still getting another harness. We just have it running on this one. This is one that uh, a shop in Nova Scotia had sold him, or he said they sent him to this guy. I had to redo the whole thing. They had everything wired wrong. Uh, it was just unreal. So I'm gonna pick right back up. I'm gonna bang this out, pull this off, and then uh, I'll, sh I'll show you how to do it from there. I'll roll off. So we got the valve cover off, but as you can see, we got good oil pressure. Everything is freshly coated, freshly coated. So uh, what I want to show you, so we have a top dead center. You can see how much the belt was trying to walk off though. Isn't that crazy? So that's why you need that piece. You have to have it. Um, so yeah, you can see we're straight across. Boom, right? Straight, straight, straight. So if you look at Type S cams, any, anything really that was was made at Honda, they made it easy for you. So you can see there's uh, there's no hole on the on the right, but if you look on the left, there's actually a small hole. Hold on, I'm just gonna pull this up. Get the light set up here. So there's a small hole. You can see if if you get the right. You see if I zoom in there. If you get the right size, it'll fit in perfect, you know what I mean? Just like a dowel. So I go find a drill bit or whatever that fits in there. there. It's not like, you know what I mean? Just like a feeler gauge type of feel. It's pretty snug. So it's what it's going to do is hold the cams stationary because it has this top hole, right? That's what those top holes are for. So you can see in there on the opposite side, right? So boom, same in here. If you look down in there, barely see it, but yeah, if you see my... Up and down, I gotta fit snug. You know what I mean? I can move it with my fingers. Same with this one, move it with my fingers. So what that's gonna do is right now, I mean we're gonna we're gonna loosen off the tensioner down there. 14 mil. But once we loosen off the 14 mil, uh, well we can pull this belt off right now, it tried to walk, but I'm gonna loosen off the 14 mil so it's easier to put put the new one back on, get this all cleaned back up, and I'll show you how to install everything here. Hard to zoom, but there you go, bud. All right, we got the new belt on, boys. So as you can see, we got the center lined up. You can see the little dot, the arrow. This is our new tensioner. You can see the manual tensioner. The spring. Bolt. 
Everything's good there. We're tight. See everything. So I'm gonna put this back on here in a sec. I'll show you it's up here. I still got our lines. Boom boom. Right? So if you look, these shouldn't be tight. You should be able to just literally pull them back out like I showed you. Right? Same thing. But Right, so then you know nothing's binding, nothing's, you know what I mean, everything's where it's supposed to be. So, yeah, we're going to, uh, we're going to get this back together and do a rotation. Make sure everything's still all where it needs to be. So, for right now, I think we'll just do, alright guys, we've got the new belt on. We're going to, uh, turn it over. i got the pins pulled. Everything lines up. We got the alternator back on. Let's give her a turn and see how the belt stays. She got compression. Nice belt from Honda. Lots of compression. Back top dead center. Belt still on good. Let's go again. So this process is the same for H22, H23 VTAC, H23 non VTAC, and F20B. Um, the F series, F22 and F23 single overhead cams, it's it's all basically the same. You know what I mean? Honda made it very easy for people to do their own maintenance. And it's all if you make your own marks and everything, right? You want to make sure everything's going to be on time before you even try to start it, right? So, on a smidge fire, let's just back that up. Not to Okay, so everything looks good. Everything looks great there. So I can see here. Right? Yellow mark on the yellow mark. So this baby's good to go. Nice manual tensioner. And we're going to get the valve cover back on in here, and we'll fire this thing up on Honda. So, we're going to jack this up, put our post mount back on, put our valve cover on, and I'll, uh, I'll uh, get another quick little video for you guys before then, and I'll post this up for you. This is how you do your timing belt and H23 non-VTEC manual tensioner, so you don't have to worry about that pesky h22a uh it's just this is way better this is way better setup so um for the price i think it was a hundred dollars um i don't really show nick's receipt but this is for the belt and for the kit so with the spring also right straight from honda so that's all we run is genuine honda parts unless it's aftermarket and it's been proven so uh, this setup here, I proved it in my car. It, it went uh, 1266 at 110 at 208 wheel horsepower, 161 wheel torque. I do have the dyno graph. I'll, uh, actually, it's over here. So this was at JD Racing on uh, stock H23 VTEC with Type S cams. Put the same tune up in it. Uh, this has just the stock 295 cc injectors <clears throat> for the H23. I had 550s. It does have the wall bro. It does have every single thing that I had other than the injectors. So I mean it should be a 1290 car for sure. Easy. So uh yeah I'll be right back boys. Well guys that's how you uh 
get your timing belt and your H23 manual tensioner installed. That's how you can time any H series, H23, F series. Basically any Honda is most likely the same. Uh, it, it has the same common sense anyways. So just look it up on Google, get out your, your manual or whatever. And you can, uh, you can do this in your own garage, you know what I mean? So this one's a little bit extra. It's H to B style. So, I mean, like there's a lot more going on with shaving the block and stuff. And, but this is pretty basic just to change your, your timing belt and whatnot. So I'm going to uh, get a tune in it and get it fired up. And I'll get that in another video for you guys. So uh, like, subscribe, share, do whatever you got to do. Like I said, we got, we got turbos, nitrous. We got all kinds of stuff on the go. So, uh... Like I said, this J35, I gotta go get a block, but we push the piston straight down by hand because the rod come out the side of it there. It's a hole in the block, so. Uh, yeah, you could literally walk it down. It's walked all the way down, but. So yeah, like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you on the next one, boys. I appreciate it.